What's going on guys, Jax the Bearded Hiker here. All right, today we're gonna to be cooking up Dutch oven barbecue beans and beef. In this case today, we're gonna to actually be doing uh, beef and ground pork. If you wanted to go with all beef, you could. If you wanted to go with all pork, you could. Or mix the two like we're doing today. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to put this stuff together. This is seriously one of the best meals for camping, in my opinion, because it's kind of like a one of those dump and goes. So, all right, let's get busy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is start out with a half a pound, half a pound of chopped bacon. And we're gonna go ahead and get this nice and crisp up. So you probably noticed about this little Dutch oven I got. This is a 12 inch Dutch oven here, and this is an, an aluminum Dutch oven. And this thing right here is perfect for uh, camping. I bought it for specifically camping and kayaking because you know when you're camping or kayaking sometimes it's not real easy to clean up your Dutch oven. You got to worry about oiling and all this. This right here you can literally just stick it in the creek or a river or whatever. Rinse it out and put it away and you don't have to worry about it rusting. Love this thing. It's made by GSI if anyone's interested. I'll try to leave a link below maybe on Amazon. I think I got it on Amazon. Did I? Do you know where I got it from? I can't remember. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look it up. I'll try to find it. Wherever it is I got it from, I'll leave a link uh, in the description. All right, so we're just going to continue uh, rendering down this bacon. All right, so our bacon is nice and crisp up for the most part. I'm going to go ahead and add in a uh, our pork, ground pork and our ground beef and go ahead and brown that up. And uh, then we'll have a, to make that decision on whether if we want to pour off some of this grease or not. It smells incredible. Again, guys, you guys can go all beef or all pork. I like, I like the way it uh, turns out when you kind of use a 50-50. Now, this was a pound total. So it looks like we got everything browned up, so now it's the decision time where you want to figure out whether you want to rent, uh, drain off some of this liquid goodness here, which I plan on doing. So let's just move, let's just move everything back here. All right, and we're just gonna do this little deal right here. That's how much we got already, uh, like a quarter cup of grease so far. Uh, this is hot. All right, guys, next up, we got most of that grease done off here. Okay, so we're gonna put in, here, let me dump that in there and tell you what we got in there. All right, so what we just put in there is one green bell pepper, one medium sized onion and about five cloves of garlic and we got one more thing going in there my helper is going to help me out so this going in is two jalapenos all right we're just going to saute this up for a just a minute or two and then i'll show you what we're going to do next okay so we've been going about five minutes with these vegetables here now we're going to go ahead and start adding in some of these other ingredients we're gonna go ahead and add in some ketchup. That is a half a cup of just regular ketchup. All right, and then we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of mustard. And I'm just using a special kind of mustard here. Ugh. This uh, barbecue and barbecue is that what it's called? Barbecue Cubans mustard. I got this in Key West. I don't know, I'm, you might can find this online. If so, I'll look for it and leave a link in the description. All right, so that was two tablespoons of that. All right, now we're going in with one cup of barbecue sauce. And you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. I happen to be using, uh, this is my new favorite barbecue sauce right here. This is from Smokehouse Bayou. Um, 
If you saw my beef jerky video, you'll know that I went and talked to the owner and we made some beef jerky together, or actually he made the beef jerky. And uh, anyway, he gave me some of this. He also gave me another one. And if you are paying attention, if you'll leave a comment below and also go over and give Brian at Smokehouse Bayou a sub on his YouTube channel, make sure you leave a comment below down in this video and I will put you in to win a bottle of this barbecue sauce. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and add in about a half a cup of liquid. And I don't have any water out here, but I do have some of this swill right here. This is not a sponsor, by the way. I really care for that beer too much, but that's another story. All right, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and bring this up to a simmer and uh, we'll be back with you in a second all right guys I think we are at a simmer I'm just gonna remove this yeah we're simmering nice that looks good already okay here we go we're gonna add in these beans okay and I'm gonna tell you what I got in just a second okay so what we got here is we got one can of pinto beans one can of kidney beans and one can of white beans and I've drained and rinsed them, all right? So now what we're gonna do is give it a stir about just like this. We're gonna check it every now and then. We're not gonna add any more liquid right now. If it, We may end up adding some liquid as we go. We'll just see how that goes. But basically what we're gonna do is put the lid back on here. Man, I wish Camp Made would uh, sponsor a video and send me some of their products so I could use a lid lifter they got. Anyway, hint, hint, no. Seriously though, we're gonna just put the lid on it and we're gonna keep that at a simmer for probably about an hour or so. I do wanna throw this out there too, guys. You don't have to do this on a campfire or in a Dutch oven. You can do this on your stove. You can actually put it in your oven. And this would be an actually an excellent recipe for uh, the can cooker as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been one hour and it looks and smells fantastic. I didn't add any more liquid. I didn't add any spices. All right, let's give this uh, a taste. I'm gonna go in and just, I'm gonna get a little bit of all of it. The juice, pepper and beans and Everything, big, nice, and hearty spoonful. All right, I'm gonna blow on this for a minute. It's, mm, it's incredible. Whew, hot. Mm. Mm. Fantastic, okay. So, the best way to, des to describe the flavors in this is simplest, baked beans, like you bake some beans and then you've added meat into the mix. Similar to that, that's the only way to describe it, I guess. But it's freaking delicious. You should definitely try this out on your next camping trip or at home is what I would do. Serve it with like maybe over some cornbread, over some um, mashed potatoes would be good, I think. Or just have it plain like this. All right, guys, Dutch oven barbecue beans with ground beef and pork. Maybe some sausage would be good. Do it.